Hi guys, today we're talking about one of the simplest and easiest ways to free up large amounts of storage space on your hard drive. We're talking about photo and video files. In my case, these take up over 50% of the entire hard drive. What we're going to do today is we're going to relocate our iPhoto or Photos database to an external hard drive, freeing up all that space for us to use. There's a few simple steps. I'm going to walk you through them now. You begin by opening your photos or iPhoto library. Once your library is open, you're going to go over to the top left, Photos Preferences. The first thing we want to look for under Preferences is right here under Importing. We want to make sure that it, the item is checked, Copy Items to the Photo Library. And that way we ensure that when we transfer for the database that all of the photos are actually within that database. Otherwise, they could just be pointing to various files here and there outside of the actual database and we don't want to lose anything in the transfer. So if that item isn't checked, go ahead and check that item, copy items to photo library, then we're going to exit out of the preferences we're going to go over to edit and we'll do select all then we'll go file and we're going to do consolidate now in many cases you'll see that this will actually be grayed out and that means that there's no need no need to proceed however um, if you did not have that item checked earlier then you will need to consolidate before we continue and that may take just a few minutes so here we are we're, let's say we're set we're moving on we're going to go back into photos preferences and what we're going to see here is now we're going to look for the library location and so here we see exactly where our photo library is situated and we're going to show it in finder so that we can move the file over to our external hard drive. So it's opened it here for us. In this case, ours is right here. I actually have two photos libraries, one for my wife and one for myself. This particular one is 341 gigabytes. We're going to go ahead and move that to the external hard drive. And so you go ahead and you can just, just drag the item to the external drive where you want this to go and we can just drop it there. Let's try one more time. Okay. All right. And then we should see the progress bar preparing to copy. Okay. And then this is going to give us a little bit of an estimate. In this case, this took me 341 gigabytes. So oh, I don't know, a little more than half an hour. And so when that's all done, we're going to go ahead and come back and I'll show you what we do next because we want to train the photo library or the, the photos program to know where to retrieve the photos when you go to open the uh, program in the future. So this is actually already taken place. I've got that already moved. So let's go ahead and close this. We'll close out of the program. And now what we can do, you can do one of two things. Number one, you can go to the photos library you can click open but simultaneously you hold down the option key okay that is option number one and it's going to show you all of the available photo libraries as well as where they are found for you to select which one you want to open okay you can choose the one that you know um, is in the the right location the location where you had just moved it and you can click choose library the other option is also simple and that is you can go where you know that you had just transferred the file you can go there and uh, let's see here iPhoto libraries and then you can just double click on that item and it will open photos from that library source now once you do this once once you do this once, what you're going to find is Photos will remember where it retrieved the file. So as long as you have your external hard drive 
in place, in other words, connected to your computer, you'll have no problem uh, in the future. It will be just as simple as it was previously, meaning you're just going to go and click on the photos icon in the desktop and it's just going to be that easy. You're not going to have to think about it. You're not going to have to search for it. It's just going to work. And when you go and import photos to your library from your phone, from your camera, um, etc., it is also going to be storing them on the external drive from now on. So there's one more step and that is a cleanup step. We want to, to gain back all that freed up hard drive space and so we're going to need to actually delete the photos database from the max hard drive. So let's do that now. You may still have the finder or folder open showing the original file. If in that case you're one step ahead. If not, go ahead and go to your pictures folder. This is where the Mac typically stores your photo library. And so you'll see here I have both an old iPhoto library as well as the new photos library. Both of these are ready for deletion. And so what we're going to do now is we're simply going to take this and we're going to drag it to our trash. Remember that the files you put in the trash are not actually gone until you empty the trash. So we're moving the photo library to the trash and then also once that's completed we're also going to be moving our old iPhoto library to the trash as well. At that point what we're going to do once that's done is simply we're going to come over here we're going to right click on the trash and we're going to click empty trash and then once that's done if you want to check and see how much space you freed up you're simply going to go over here to Macintosh hard drive right click click get info and then you'll be able to see how much space is available now I've not done that just yet but when I do I'm gonna have over 500 gigabytes of space restored to my Mac so hey I really hope that this was helpful to you. I really do believe this is one of the simplest and easiest ways to reclaim large amounts of file space or storage space on your Mac's own hard drive. Um, if this was a blessing, please consider liking. Um, would love to hear from you in the comments and hope you have a great day.